Hello and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Speed Jaconator 3 Excel show. And welcome to uh, uh, another episode of the WRC 10 Career Mode. This is the WRC 3 Series. And we're in our second race of the season. And it's at the Rally de Portugal. So we uh, skip over the uh, Sweden and the Croatia Rally. And now we're going to go run the Rally de Portugal. Because uh, the Rally de uh, Portugal is... Um, the WRC3 uh, schedule. Now, if you missed the previous uh, World Rally, we did it in three parts. It was the Monte Carlo Rally. Be sure to check it out on YouTube.com and Twitch.tv slash SpeedChickenEditor3XL. And uh, if you want to leave your links and comments uh, down below and subscribe to my channel, be sure to uh, click on the red button. And we'd like to thank another subscriber uh, for uh, joining into my channel and the Speed Chicken Editor 3 show. I appreciate that. And... Uh, and welcome into the uh, Speed Jacob Data 3 XL show. And, uh, and, uh, and welcome and thank you for uh, adding in to more subscribers. So i like to definitely have a lot more subscribers uh, into the channel. So please join in and click on the red bell on youtube.com slash Speed Jacob Data 3 XL. And then live coverage on twitch.tv slash Speed Jacob Data 3 XL. Well, the Monte Carlo Rally, we were off to a good start and everything, but now we're uh, got to get more experience because this is our first gravel race of the season. So it is going to be a little bit more tricky and a little bit more difficult uh, to go on. So let's hope uh, we can have a good rally uh, there. Uh, we got a lot of new rallies uh, coming up uh, in the going, so let's see how we can do. You know, the, uh, and the WRC, WRC schedule is going to look kind of uh, familiar because now that we have the new Croatia rally, we don't even have the uh, Acropolis rally in, in Greece, but I think they do have showings uh, of it uh, in the going. But uh, let's see uh, how we can do. But, but there is going to be the new rally venues coming into the schedule, so let's hope we can go to those venues like Acropolis rally in Greece and uh, all the others. But the next rally is going to be the rally to Portugal. And we are fourth in the standing, so we're off to a good start, but now let's see if we can have a better performance and a better outing uh, here at the, uh, at the Rally to Portugal. We should be able to do well here, but <coughs> look, it's still uh, a numerous amount of endangerments that we can do with this rally car. And hopefully what we can do very well, better than the Monte Carlo Rally in, in pavement. But next time we go back there, we better put those snow and ice tires in there. And there is going to be a patch upgrade coming up uh, Coming up soon, uh, uh, hopefully it will come in this week so that way they can fix the, uh, the steering and the tracking uh, on the rally car and then it will work way out much better. So it looks like we're all set to go and ready to uh, race the, uh, the World Rally uh, Championship and let's see uh, how everything will do here at the... Uh, let's see how everything uh, comes out. Uh, I think we're going to go and shorten the... Uh, the rally. Instead of doing like all the full stages, uh, we're going to make it into a short stage uh, for the rally to Portugal. So let's make it uh, short. Uh, so we're going to make this a short episode uh, for the rally. We're only going to do that in the Pro WRC. So now we can use uh, 10 tires. So we'll use five tires uh, each. So five tires each on the uh, on the gravel, and then five tires on the soft gravel. And uh, so this is only going to be a four rally uh, stage. So we're going to make it uh, shorter this time for the uh, Portugal rally. We're only going to do this on WRC three and WRC two because the season opener rally we did this on the. Uh, on that, but we're not going to do that until the Pro WRC. We're only going to do full stage rallies on on the Pro WRC only. But on WRC three and two, we're just going to do the uh, the short stages. So we're only going to do four stages. So we're going to have it to, to do the uh, the old fashioned way. So that way we can make fast time. And that's how everybody else has been doing it too. Because we did see uh, one of our uh, gamers, uh, Rover Forty Six, doing it. So I'm going to do it as well. So we're going to have 10 tires of uh, hards and 10 tires of soft. And let's see how we can do it. This is uh, going to be a short rally, so uh, we're going to change over into the, uh, the soft gravel for two stages. Oh, 
so to see, you're supposed to do it like that. Alright, so we're going to go to soft travel on the first two rallies. On the shakedown rally and then the super stage rally. So let's see how these tires can hold up. Here we go. So we're going to do this the old fashioned way. <coughs> And just do a four stage rally. Five, four, All right, here's the shakedown three, stage. This is only two kilometers. Careful with those rocks. Come on, don't hit those rocks. Yeah, there's like a downhill section going into it in this, uh, this opening. Slippage on this rally, but the, when we put those RC developments, it will handle much better. But we're not going to be at WRC3 for long, so we're only going to do short stages on WRC3 and WRC2 only. But only on Pro WRC, I will do the uh, I will do the full whole thing, the full rally. Because some of these uh, rallies could be the same boring and everything, but. Uh, I just want to make it right and then uh, just try to cut to the chase and then go to the pro WRC soon when that opportunity go comes. So we're doing this like the old fashioned way, like uh, the previous WRC 9 days. All right, we got to be careful. There's a jump coming up right now. Ooh, ooh. And we finished with two minutes and four seconds, but that was only the shakedown uh, rally. So we did a pretty good job, but uh, we don't. It doesn't even count. <laughs> well, we don't need to change parts, but we do need, do need to change the headlights. That's going to cost us a little bit, and the bodywork. And everything else is looking pretty good so far. And a new front bumper. Yeah, because we hit the front of it and, and all that, so we're going to still use the soft gravel. So let's see what happens in the next stage of the rally. That was only the, uh, the practice uh, shakedown. And now um, here's the real thing. Now we're going to move on to stage two for eight kilometers. Should have done like a little bit of a medium uh, rally instead of the uh, the small four stage. That would have given us uh, plenty of points. But just to let you know, we're only going to do uh, the full realistic rally in the Pro WRC only. So to make it a little bit more challenging. But right now, I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way uh, for WRC 3 and 2. Five, four, three, All right, here we two, go. Stage 2. One, It's 
Germany. Oh my goodness, uh, I'm gonna have to restart again. Oh, I went too quick. Three, two, went way too hot one, going into that uh, corner. We were doing so well, and then suddenly uh, short. we just uh, didn't slow down. Yeah, we were doing so good. Yeah, but now we have to give it another try again. We have five attempts uh, to try to get it right. But we just went uh, a bit too hot. Well, we don't want to have too much damage, so we're, we're just doing a short stage over here. We're going to do that for, for the rest of the, uh, the rally. Try it again. We almost had it. Three, two, but we have to hit the brakes hard. Here we, go. we almost had it. Right it was just too much slide going into the, the, the tire. You know, I'm trying to get it right. I, you know, it, it's just uh, it's just uh, very difficult. You know, I can't wait until the patch upgrade is fixed, so that way they can fix the uh, the steering on this thing. Well, this is my second attempt here in the stage two. Not off to a good start that we expected it to be because uh, we're doing a good job in the other turns, but these narrow turns, you have to do a good job. Yeah, look how narrow that is. That, that is so narrow. Well, we're three seconds faster now that we went through there. Well, let's be careful going into these narrow corners. pretty good on career mode, but when you do it uh, on the uh, online the quick play, I did just get some practice uh, on the Pro WRC uh, car. That acceleration there. Right right oh man, I almost hit that house. Those, are, those houses are cemented and we're about faster. Alright, right, let's be careful getting into that fence. Oh, it's a good object. 
page four, fifty. Well, we went through it. Four, really got to know. Be very cautious with these hidden objects. And maybe it would drift a little bit better. Oh, that was almost, oh, that was almost there. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Don't hit that rock. Right six, rock in, 80. Right four of the crest, medium, keep right. Left two, into right three, very narrow, 50. All right, she awesome. said, well, look at that, 15 right seconds three, faster. Four, narrow, All right, we have a sizable, uh, we have a sizable advantage, so be careful. Right three, into right four, 15 80. seconds now. Scenery right there. There must be a hidden object in here. Let's be careful. Man, we're still faster. You know, I am a good rally driver, but you know, I'm just starting to get used to the game. But uh, we're going to do only uh, shorter rallies on WRC 3 and 2 from now on. And so we'll do realistic uh, on the pro WRC rally. Time to take a swim, and we did. There's got to be uh, there's got to be some more hidden objects on some of these sections here. Now that we have a sizable advantage, let's just take it easy. All right, let's watch out with these bumps here, especially that fence at, at the left side of us. Man, what a beautiful day this has been here at the, at Portugal. I had to make the stage a little bit longer, and we're almost to the finish. And we finished the rally with six minutes and nineteen seconds. Thirty-seven seconds already. <laughs> Over uh, well, a lot of different drivers. We have a uh, Raku Ashi, and then uh, Lappy, Christofferson, and then Johnston. And we did this in two attempts. They really got to fix that too. We're not rallying at the uh, Archon. See that? Well, when they have their next upgrade, they got to fix that. And everything needs to be fixed with the steering and everything else. If we go into hard gravel, uh, I think we're going to have to go to hard gravel because I think that power stage could be the endurance stage. And we don't have to make much repairs. Well, we got the uh, well, suspension is okay. We don't need the brakes are okay. Well, the steering is fine. Uh, we didn't cause much damage, but the suspension. Uh, I think we could do, do the suspension. It is going to cost us, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll change it anyway. Well, let's save the money. How much does it cost? Oh, well, it's not that much. Okay, the car is prepared. All right, so, well, I think we could just go with the, uh, the soft tires. But we, we put five softs and then the, the hards, but, the, but we still have enough life on the uh, on the soft tires, and we only have the final two stages because uh, the next stage is the super stage, and Lusada, and then Arganel. Uh, 
And this is going to be during the early evening. So here we go. The last two stages here in the uh, in the WRC3. This is uh, Arganel and then the Super Stage at Lusada. All right. We did practice here with the, the Pro WRC during uh, the quick play. I got to be careful here because um, in that sector over there, and this is nine kilometers, this is a little bit of a longer uh, stage, a little bit of endurance stage, but uh, it'll be all right. But we're still using the same uh, soft gravel. We use 79% of it. I think that will be uh, enough, but uh, I think that'll be enough to finish. Here we go. Three, See, there's still life on that, one. those tires. Let's go. Keep tapping right over the hill. Into right five and left for a short. All right, let's Attention see if we can do this in one go this time without uh, having, having a mistake. Left four into right four short, narrows. See, it handles a little bit better with the, uh, with the development. Right three, open, straight out, 50. Soft gravel is really helping very well. Left five over crest, rock in, into right six long, over jump. Alright, there's a jump going on still. Left four, small cut, rock out, 150 over crest. Left five, Titans, and right five, medium. And flat left over crest, keep middle, into right five, very long. Time, but uh, let's still be careful out there with these uh, hidden objects. Oh, okay, here we go. Caution, kicks, break, and left two, medium, 100. Left four, short, into right three, short, 80. Left four, narrow, straight cut, into right four, medium, tightens. Into left three, into right four, opens, narrows, 80. Right three, long, 
of six. Perfect. I'm going to have to run a higher AL when it goes to WRC2 next season. Okay, let's be careful going into this bridge here. we got a sizable advantage right now, so let's take it easy. Still got very good life on these uh, soft gravel uh, tires. Oh, 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 be careful. Don't hit that wall. Don't hit that hidden object. Yeah, kind of lost it there a little bit, but uh, <laughs> everything is cool. Okay, now we're going into the tarmac. This is the, uh, the going into the city here, little city. <laughs> All right, yeah, don't hit that beautiful area. That's a beautiful area right there. sector here, uh, final sector uh, here at the uh, Portugal Rally. We did a great job. What a fantastic job. We did this in one go. Let's keep it going. Still got a few kilometers to go. Big jump coming up. Caution, right four, narrows oh, across. Oh, oh. Ow! And right four, small cut into finish. Hey, can you rate that jump? I couldn't rate that jump into a seven. Now, that was a very good jump right there, but I had to be careful. Because I was going up and almost uh, blew it over right there. But we did a good job here in this rally. We did this in one go. And we have a 1 minute and 17 second advantage over Escafiga Lappi. These are a lot of different drivers that we're facing with uh, in WRC3. All right, this is it. This is only the final stage here. We wanted to do a short rally here into Portugal, but uh, that's all we had to do. And this is the first time ever that I have uh, raced a rally at night in the Super Stage, but there is lights on here in Lusada. Uh, and I know this course uh, very well, and I've done it just, uh, done this uh, like a hundred times uh, on the WRC9 game. Here it is, the final stage. Five, Let's do it. Four, three, two, one. Into the left, so can't 
is a very narrow one. Nice job, nice drifting right there. Uh, let's try to get this right this time, going into... Uh, now we got it right this time. Come on, get on that apex. soft gravel tires so much and everything and uh, we did it under 35 seconds and we do win the rally to Portugal we're going to do a replay mode out of this one well let's try to uh, eat some uh, time up and uh, let's, to, let's do the uh, replay mode here in Lusada that was a nice job we did a great job and we won our first ever uh, rally the first ever rally of the season in the WRC3 game uh. I might have to, to steer the thing uh, differently, so that's how I can get a, a better drifting on this rally car. did a great job here at, uh, the, in Portugal. That, that was a much better rally, but we wanted to do a shorter rally. Uh, so we're, so my announcement is that I will do shorter rallies in WRC 3 and 2, and then we'll do the full realistic rally uh, when we uh, reach into the Pro WRC. And a great job by the team and effort. We had such a great rally car, and we did amazing. Well, I'm going to try to finish up the... Uh, the replay mode to show you how my performance was. Well, we did an excellent job in Portugal. I could have won the Portugal if I did the realistic, but I'm going to keep it uh, shorter and just cut to the chase so that way I can catch up and then uh, have more time to try to go to Pro WRC. I want to go to Pro WRC when that opportunity comes. Well, we were a little bit off uh, coming in there, but, uh, but we were glad to uh, handle it again.
So congratulations to us. So we get a better outing and we win the rally to Portugal. Well, that's well. I'm so glad that the WRC 10 game now uh, is showing the uh, showing the people and everybody else, and then now they finally showing the trophy. That's the first time. Uh, that's the first time ever that they have shown the trophy. If you win, uh, so if you win the uh, in, in every each rally stage, you, then you will see a trophy right there. So now we receive our trophy. So we get our first ever WRC free rally win. Here in the Rally to Portugal, and I love the new winter circle. That this is a much better uh, winter circle that we had, and uh, and we did great. Well, this is only our second race. Um, uh, Matt Osberg did the Swedish Rally and the Croatia Rally, but we also uh, we did the uh, the Portugal Rally. But Matt Osberg didn't do the uh, the Portugal Rally, so that means we do win that stage. And we were able to do a very good job, and uh, it was it was a nice outing, and it moves us into uh, third place in the standings. And Citron is uh, 119 uh, points, and the Scuda for the first time they're doing a good job. They're 126 points in WRC3. There's only five manufacturers in WRC3: is Hyundai, Ford, Volkswagen, Cit Citron, Citron, and Scuda. So we went 28,000 out of that one. That's going to give us a, a serious amount of reputation. So we got a lot of big rewards over that. And make 83,277. And we get eight more uh, R&D developments. So in our R&D tree, we get uh, eight more of those R&D developments. So we're going to we're going to be able to use some of them. Man, winning a rally uh, that, that makes a difference. Now we unlock an engineer. We need more uh, over here. So now we have a little bit of an upgrade on the engine performance and then a little bit uh, more on that one. So now we have 11 of 90 in total on the R&D tree. Yeah, the first time uh, in the WRC-10, now we can see, uh, now we can see a closer look at that. So we take a closer look. And I think right now we can do an upgrade. So now we have a physical therapist. Financial advisor yet, or the uh, so now we have a so now we have an engineer. So now it means now they can work on the rally car for, for that one to make sure that we uh, pay our costs. It only cost us about five thousand, so we did um, less damage uh, in this race. So what's going to be the next rally? So we are in third place in the standings, and I think our next rally could be the Italian rally. We have a manufacturer's trial, and we also have an anniversary race. Well, even though we had 41 minutes into the uh, our 
uh, episode number two of our career mode. Let's do an anniversary race uh, for this rally. So we will do. Uh, so we already did the rally to Portugal episode number two, and now we're going to do an anniversary race, and it, and we're going to be running uh, the late Colin McRae's uh, Subaru at uh, San Remo. I think that's in. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where that is, but uh, I'll check it out. So we're going to be racing the uh, anniversary race. So this is our second episode for the anniversary race. And it's at the Rally d'Italia at San Remo. Oh, my goodness. And this is going to be run at night, too. I hope I know this course very well. This is the uh, Rally d'Italia in the Sardega. So we're going to be doing this uh, an episode of the uh, anniversary race. This is uh, episode number two of our WRC 10 career mode. So we're doing the Rally to Portugal and an anniversary race. And we're running the 1997 late Colin McRae car. Remember, this is the only rally car that he won his world championship in 1995. And these were the two most uh, greatest uh, rallies. Uh, he wasn't the greatest of all time, but he was very consistent. Uh, and a very good driver, the late Colin McRae. And then he's going to team up with Nicky Reese. So let's see how he does tonight. Here we go. It's the first time we're running this 50th anniversary rally car, the most famous 1997 Subaru Let's see if it has the. the Caution, hard brake, hairpin right, don't cut, 150. Left five, narrows. It's got a, a pretty much of a low sound in that WRC Impreza. And right three, into left four, opens. This has been a long while since I've driven Colin McRae's uh, car, since 2006. Right junction, right one, 50. Whoa. It, I mean, this, this, those years, those super impressive have handled very well in the rally. Six, Pay respects for you, Polly McRae. You were such a, a great world rally driver, but uh, I feel so bad about your passing in the, in the late uh, 2000s. Uh, it was a horrible loss when we lost Polly McRae. But Polly McRae, uh, he, he still drives uh, so well. He's got incredible focus, great reputation, and he can drive. <laughs> that used to be his style of driving. He loves to, to, to over floor it and be a little bit aggressive on it. He's got a beautiful fall foliage too. Oh, here, here we go. That's a that's a junction. Oh my goodness, that was a dangerous corner right there, and especially you can't even really see it at night, ooh. 
So glad we made it there. Ooh, short. thank goodness. Now right back on the main road. Three. And four, keep right three, well, so we're showing you anniversary races. Uh, this brings back right memories short. of the, the WRC short. history. Right Caution, left right four, Be careful with those people. All right, we got a tunnel coming up. Oh, this tunnel is so cool. Look at that. Into right six, Make sure we don't right hit five it. Short, into right five short. Into right five short. Caution. Break. Square left. Small cut. 80. Left four long. Titans. And right three short. Into right two. Keep in. Left three, Titans, into left two, medium. I nailed this perfectly. I'm gonna definitely gonna go with the replay mode. Oh, right oh two, my medium, goodness. I'm a little nervous here. Uh, I have walls in between each other. Into left five, break into right three, narrows, and left three. Yeah, he said it narrows. Watch out for the people. Into right three and left three. Into right four narrows, into right four narrows, Titans two. And right two, small cut, 50. Into finish. And we finished it very well. What a great job. That was a beautiful performance in the anniversary race. We nailed it beautifully. We uh, had great results. That was a hell of a performance. That, we did a we did a nice job. see Nicky Grease uh, reading the navigation. He was a great navigator uh, with his partner with uh, Collie McRae. And the Subaru Impreza still drives uh, the, the best style of the late 90s. These were the best ever, uh, best ever rally cars of the 90s. No question about that. And Collie McRae won this uh, his world championship in 1995 with the, the WRC Impreza. And he used to be uh, immensely popular in the 90s when Collie McRae came along. You know, I used to watch WRC back in 1997, and these Subaru Impreza's were very impressive. And Subaru was the best manufacturer of the 90s. You know, in the early years we had Celica, and then Toyota went out and scored for a while. They went back to uh, they went back to the FIA for uh, uh, to run GTP cars. Now this is a this is kind of a, a very uh, dangerous uh, tricky course and, and especially running here at night well this is why they call me the night owl wow well we're getting some onboard cameras from uh, Colin McRae now these are how the, uh, the WRC cars look like in the late 90s well look at that handling and driving this Colin McRae and you know back then he, uh, he, he got it and he knows how to drive uh, these rally cars you know, he came so close a couple of times winning uh, another world championship and everything. He got runner-up. And, you know, that last one, he could have won the world championship in 2001. But then Marcus Grunholm got the championship, and that was the only championship Peugeot got. But then the Peugeots were beginning to be a little bit slower, and uh, they didn't have the pace until Citron came along. And then the greatest of all time, Sebastian Loeb, roared to the scene.
the, the, this was a remarkable performance. I didn't complete my objective and everything, but that's okay. I, I did an amazing job of here, here in the pavement here at the Rally at Italian. Well, like I said before, uh, like I said last year, WRC9, I'm going to be running Expedition uh, Anniversary Races. But this is one hell of a uh, great performance at the Rally di Italia. Uh, look at the glow of the rake, and that's just, uh, that's remarkable graphics right there. Well, that uh, that was a dangerous corner right there, going into that hairpin. And the thing about these Subaru Impressas, they handled uh, beautifully. And you know, uh, I remember uh, it's been a while since I drove the Subaru Impressa since uh, when I drove driven the uh, Colin McRae uh, rally in 2005 on that game. You know, that game had uh, very remarkable graphics, but they only ran like six stages of it uh, when you run them in WRC because they had the Citron, they had the Subaru back then, they had the Peugeot, Mitsubishi. It was a pretty nice uh, game. Remember, I played that on PC back in 2005. That was a remarkable McCollum McCurry rally, but then during his passing, then they had to do something about uh, making a new uh, set of uh, World Rally Championships. So they designed uh, WRC, uh, WRC2 uh, era back in the 2010s. But this is the 10th installment of the WRC uh, uh, game. Well, it brings back memories of, uh, in the first time, uh, first time in a while that I've driven the Subaru. And it's still the beauty of all-wheel drive. <laughs> Even though they don't have that slogan anymore because they have a new slogan now for, uh, for Subaru. But back then, they used to call it the beauty of all-wheel drive uh, in those 90s uh, Subaru models. <clears throat> Yeah, but the, this was only an expedition race, so we don't get any money out of that one. But that was a, a one hell of a performance, and we did a great job. We didn't hit anything or anything, or we were just we just uh, had a lot of fun. All right. Well, we don't know what the next rally is, but we'll show you that in the next episode of our WRC10 career mode. So we only did a short rally on it, but we're going to do that the rest of the way, because only on the Pro WRC we will do all full rallies on that one when we get back to Monte Carlo. So that will be uh, my new goal. I just want to uh, finish off the WRC3 and WRC2 for shorter rallies, and then after that we will do the full realistic stage uh, of the WRC uh, Pro WRC when we go to uh, Monte Carlo. And I hope we can do a very good job. So we get our first ever win in the WRC uh, series with a remarkable performance and a great performance on the uh, anniversary race. So well done. I, I did an awesome job. So that will do it. That will wrap it up here for our uh, episode of uh, the World Rally Championship. And thank you so much for watching here in the uh, Speed Tape and Air 3 XL channel. Even though I did a shorter one, uh, but uh, we didn't have to do it for like two hours and everything, but I just want to... Uh, 
do the shorter stages on uh, WRC 3 and 2, and then we'll do the full realistic on the Pro uh, WRC. But thanks, everyone, for watching, and uh, we'll see you into the next one. And see if we'll have enough time to do Moto Grand Prix. Uh, that'll be next. Uh, I'll also do practice for the Chinese Grand Prix for the Formula 1 2021 game. But, but we're not going to do the race yet until Monday because we're trying to wait on the new patch upgrade for the uh, Portimolo track. That'll be the, uh, the Portugal Grand Prix. But if not, then we'll do uh, the expedition race in Portimolo. It will be one of those quick races, but if it doesn't add on to the uh, my career mode, it will be added on for next season. So we'll wait until tell and see uh, when the new patch comes. But the Series 2 patch, the Series 2 is also going to come out to, as well on Monday as well. So a lot of new things are coming up in the 2021 game, and I just can't wait to race uh, Portimolo. But anyway, thanks everyone for watching, uh, and we'll show you episode number 67. It will be the uh, on Moto Grand Prix Career Mode, the two wheels. They'll be racing at the historic Le Mans in the uh, French Grand Prix. That'll be our uh, next outing, uh, next episode for season four of uh, the Moto Grand Prix uh, Career Mode. But thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.